Hey guys! So I wanted to make this video to show you how I make my holiday coffee pecan pretty much raw vegan pie and here first I'm showing you how to line your spring form pan I use a 8 inch one and then I use my food processor and I first mix the pecans and the gluten free oats to first like grind them into kind of like a flour like maybe not even at that point and I added the rest of the ingredients and I'm not gonna explain exactly what the recipe is here because you can find it all written in my blog but this is just to give a visual of how I make the pie uh, and also I spent a lot of time trying to find a song to go along with this video and I just couldn't find one that I liked so I thought you know what let me just talk to you <laughs> So after you have the crust all blended in the food processor, you put it in your pan and you press it down and you're gonna put it into your freezer. Well, before you put it in the freezer, you're gonna line the outside of the pan with this pecan halves and I went ahead and I pre-selected very beautiful pecan halves that were all like in one piece, they didn't have chipped corners so it looks really pretty when we unfold our pie and now that it's all good uh, I'm gonna add it, put it in the freezer just to you know let it hold its shape for a little bit while I make the filling of the pie so here are in the ingredients and I like to blend my filling in a Vitamix just because I think the Vitamix is so powerful and it makes it very, very creamy. If you're using another type of blender, you might want to use a little more liquid just to make sure that everything blends through. But I think the Vitamix does its job wonderfully. So here I have the filling inside of, on top of the crust. And this is going to the fridge while we're gonna crush the nuts that will be going on top of the pie. So I'm just reusing this little plastic baggie. Um, I didn't wanna use like a clean uh, Ziploc bag, but I usually use a Ziploc bag for this and I put the nuts and I crush it and I decorate the pie. And I make different decorations every time, but I usually use a mixture of um, the cashews and the pecans. And so right now, this is already the next day. So the pie has been in the freezer all night. I like to leave at least like, you know, eight hours so it can sit. So this is the next morning um, and I'm uh, melted the chocolate that will be going on top of the pie. And I like to use a Ziploc bag because I don't have any fancy baking supplies. <laughs> So this is it. This is a pie after being uh, frozen for a whole night and you can see everything is set and I really like how it, the details of the filling of the pie goes over the pecans. I think it looks really pretty. Um, I moved it into my dish, like my plate that I'll be serving this pie later on the day because I have some guests coming um, for a lunch at my house. And I decorate it with the chocolates, and you want to make a very, very small cut at the corner, okay? I know it, it, it might look very small, but it would be perfect to make these decorations. And this is it! It's super simple. I know it looks kind of complicated, but when you do it, you see how easy it is. So I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season, and I'll see you guys soon! Bye! Mwah.